What's good YouTube? It's your boyfriend Ben. Come back y'all with another video. And today I'm bringing y'all what I think is the best offensive abilities in Madden right now. I made a updated defensive ability um ranking, I guess you would call it. Um a little while ago after the 15 AP update. Haven't made the offense one yet. And I thought now before golden tickets come out would be a good time to um go over what I think is the best offensive abilities. So before we go over every individual ability, I'm going to show you what I'm running right now. I run bunch, so I made my abilities basically for how I want to play and what I think would be the most effective for bunch. So playmaker, two edge protectors, identifier, slinger, hot rock master, and deep out elite. Deep out elite is for my cover three beater. And playmaker is just in case I'm in a bag and I need something to get up in quickly. I'll just playmaker Julio. So that's that. So we're gonna start with the quarterback abilities. And obviously the mains are gonna be like Gunslinger, Hot Rod Master, that's obvious. Um But when golden tickets come out, you're gonna be able to run Hot Rod Master, Gunslinger, Escape Artist for six AP. Someone makes the quarterback right because if you get two field general slots, two strong arm slots, and a scrambler slot, then because that's what will be the best to get the best bang for your buck, you could say. Um, Cause you'll be able to get cape artist, heart master, gunslinger for six AP. Then if you wanted to, you could use inside dead eye. Um, but yeah, that's what most people are doing for their quarterbacks anyway, for golden tickets. But back to the actual ability. So these three are the best quarterback abilities in the game. And like I said, when golden tickets come out, I'm going to be running all three. Um, Fearless is also a very good quarterback ability. Every time you get pressure, it'll say um, throw under pressure accurate instead of inaccurate. And you'll have accurate passes under pressure. Um, another good ability is Conductor. You get to basically quick snap the living hell out of your opponent. I hate playing Conductor because I really have no time to set up my defense against good players. And that can get very annoying. Inside Deadeye is glitched right now. You will make any throw crossbody, um, out of range, under pressure all of that inside dead eye will allow you to make any throw basically as long as you're not super under pressure and besides that that's really it um i want to say run identifier on your quarterback i would if you do run identifier run that on your center because i like that because it looks more it looks like better when you have your abilities spread out and you got stars under everybody that'd be looking glitchy low key but um yeah let's get into the running backs now and also i'm gonna talk about the x factor the only x factor you need to run on your quarterback is omaha um now with your running back i do not run so i'm not gonna run freight train um i play on conservative so i don't stiff arm or truck and once again, I play on conservative. I do not duke, spin, or hurdle. So I just have yak them up. I mean, just why I have it. But um, for these running back abilities, balance beam is pretty good, but I don't think it's needed. It's not needed. It's a pretty decent one AP ability if you're a runner. But like I said, I'm, I'm not a runner, so I mean, I wouldn't suggest this ability if you only have one AP. I would suggest something like Deep Out Elite. And then obviously something like Jukebox or Spin Cycle. 
you're only gonna run that if you juke your spin but then if you juke and spin a lot evasive is 2 ap and then also with backfield mismatch being 1 ap you could just run probably the best 1 ap running back ability and you get improved catching from the backfield on any route not just versus linebackers um route tech is too damn expensive to put on a running back so automatic is too expensive to put on a running back leapfrog is good but let's be honest how many times you gonna hurl somebody in the game um again arm bar something you would run if you stiff arm a lot reach for is actually really good if you're a runner um also if you're a runner get the fuck off my channel i don't like you i don't like you get off get get off no i'm playing but um energizer is pretty good if you don't play on conservative you you can just do a spin or a juke move and your running back will regain his stamina and if you pair that up with recuperation that could get pretty glitchy and i don't really know how to tier running back abilities i guess you would go backfield master and like evasive are the best two and then bulldozer i guess but evasive and backfield master are probably the best ones where's um bruiser i guess um kamara doesn't get it because he's not a power back but yeah bruiser is also pretty good now let's talk about receiver abilities all right so i think catching abilities are the best right now for receivers like deep out elite deep in elite mid in mid out you're gonna have to use these according to your scheme like if you throw in deep out do you throw like the jets dig fade a lot do you throw um fades on the outside a lot do you throw stuff that you pass lead to the outside of the numbers a lot um mid in elite do you throw posts a lot do you throw crossers in the middle of the field a lot it's something you're gonna have to decide same thing with short in and short out and mid out do you throw corner outs a lot just something you got to ask yourself with these and all of these are really good all of these are really good they're all in like the same tier um slotomatic is still pretty good i don't see as many people running it anymore because man coverage is down a lot i rarely play people in man so if you have someone somebody in the slot and you motion them on a slant or you motion them to the slot and they're on a slant or just a straight up slant from the slot and man coverage it torches but you don't play that much man coverage and it's just gonna be a really fast break for nothing basically um grab and go i me personally i think this is a waste of ap things a waste of two ap to be honest evasive why are you running evasive on a receiver i, I just want to ask you why are you running evasive on a receiver like really why why um leapfrog once again why are you running after the catch moves on a receiver when you're not going to be using them that much red zone threat i really like red zone threat if you have double me activated and then you have like one of these like deep out mid out elites you have double me activated with red zone threat when you're in the red zone and then you got one of those catching abilities too you will moss the hell out of somebody on um, reach for it this is the only technically the only after the catch ability i should ever see on your field for a receiver that's not because the one ap um wide receiver apprentice why don't you just go out and get your hot route master playmaker the most bullshit ability in the game even though i run it but this is probably the best receiver ability right now 
Um, then after that, basically nothing else. Okay, please do not put, please do not spend eight ability points. That's more than half of your ability points on one player. Don't do it. And then for X Factor, the only thing should be on your field is double me. Um, let's talk about tight ends now. I know I'll probably skip route tech, but same thing with automatic. Nobody runs man coverage. Talk about tight ends, which is basically the same thing with um, almost the same thing with receivers. Depend all the catching abilities are pretty good as long as you can get them for one AP. You don't need these um route the um the route apprentices, tight end apprentice, slot apprentice. You don't need that. Playmaker, um, I don't know anybody who runs Playmaker on their tight end. Um, what else? Red zone threat is really good. Once again, you should not be running after the catch stuff on a tight end. Screen protector, if you're on screen protector, you're just a fucking weirdo. And if you run screens, I just know you have no fucking dots and you're blind as fuck. That's why that's what screen plays tell me. If you're on a screen play, unless it's in the red zone. In my head, I'm like, yeah, this dude's blind as hell. He doesn't know how to make a read. That's what immediately goes through my head. Um but besides that, is there anything else that like receivers don't get? Thank you, Tank. Um, how many times is that one player gonna get a hit stick attempted on them per game? Unless you're just pounding the ball with a running back. Um, is there something else that tight ends are supposed to get? Oh no, it's X Factor. It's X Factor. It's this. Don't even know what the fuck this does. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest um so basically tight ends and receivers are basically in the same boat but with offensive alignment abilities edge protector is the best one in my opinion for your tackles um what else is there what's the where, where's it at where's that it's the where is it nasty streak this is good if you run like base and have lead blockers because they will destroy people's users it's it's insane what these things do um what else but yeah that basically edge protector post up on your guard guards and if you have an extra one maybe throw it on your center if you want more time in the pocket better protection um identifier is good too just to throw on like your center if you have a extra AP left over and you want to see where your opponent is using. Pretty good, but besides that, those are the only three I would run. Well, four technically. Edge protector, post up, nasty streak, and identifier. Pretty good. Um, and that's going to conclude this video. Um, if y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment, and I'm out. Oh, 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 oh,